Tucked away in the outskirts of Naples is this small, unassuming lab. And yet, this is where one of the most promising vaccines against Ebola has been developed. Dr. Alfredo Nicosia and his team started developing the vaccine five years ago. They didn't know it would be ready just in time for the worst Ebola epidemic in history. Well, initially we uh, thought of developing our technology for vaccines like uh, HIV, malaria, tuberculosis, but at the same time we also thought that Ebola could have been an important target for this technology to be developed in order to obtain a verification vaccine. The vaccine acts as a carrier of benign genetic material from the Zaire strain of Ebola, the same that has killed more than 1,500 people in West Africa so far. Well, that way, the immune system learns how to protect itself from the virus. The vaccine has proved effective on lab animals. Human testing in the U.S. was approved in a record two days. Twenty American volunteers at this center in Maryland were given the vaccine this week. But time is running out. 10,000 doses are already being produced by pharmaceutical giant GlaxoSmithKline, ready to be dispatched to the World Health Organization if and when the vaccine is deemed safe. The first recipients will be frontline health workers. Already, at least 120 of them have died while treating patients. It's really key to have a treatment as soon as possible, but we don't think it will solve this uh, outbreak now. It's very important for the future, but it will not be the solution right now. The solution right now is really to have uh, a, lot of, a lot more uh, 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 treatment and isolation centers, lab labs, uh, to have more also people. Two other vaccines will undergo human clinical trials by early next year. If all goes well, they'll join the battle to contain the world's worst Ebola outbreak. Claudio Lavanga, Al Jazeera, Naples.